everyone what's up welcome back to my channel welcome to vlogmas day 11 today is sunday i'm currently getting ready it's like 8 30 in the morning um i'm gonna try out this merit great skin instant glow serum it says shake well massage two to three pumps onto skin before or after moisturizer in the morning or twice a day so i'm gonna apply two to three pumps of this it's supposed to be an instant glow one two three. Ooh, it's so liquidy this is not what i was expecting it's a little bit messy i don't want to get it on my white body suit but i'm getting ready because i'm going into boston with my mom i'm gonna have like a mom um mother daughter day which should be really fun i have to get ready kind of quick i don't know why this clip like isn't clipping i have to get ready kind of quick because i'm running behind as usual <laughs> i got up like so early and i've been doing so much but I had to re-wash my hair this morning. If you watched my last vlog, then you know it was like greasy last night after I washed it. So I woke up this morning and went straight into the shower to wash it again, but that set me back time-wise quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie. I literally just finished re-blow drying my hair and I still need to style it after I'm done doing my makeup, but that's, you know, an issue for 15 minutes from now me. Current me is just worried about putting on my makeup. So today we're going into Boston. We're gonna go to Seaport, which I'm really excited for. I just realized that I have the wrong light on in here. I normally turn this one on. I'm like wondering why it's so dark. I turned them all on. I don't know if that's gonna be too bright. I'm really excited. We're gonna hit up Snowport, which is like this outdoor Christmas market. I've never been to Snowport. I wanted to go last year, but I didn't get around to it. I think it was a thing two years ago too and I wanted to go and I didn't. There's like all these little Christmassy things in Boston and I just never normally get around to going. But this year I'm making it a priority. My mom and I are just gonna have a good fun girls day. I wish my sister was coming, but she said that she doesn't feel like it because she's going away later on this week to Charleston, so lame. But it's just gonna be me and my mom and I'm sure we will have lots of fun. I don't know where we're gonna like get lunch, get coffee, all those things, but we have a lot to do. I haven't been into Boston in so long. I'm more of a Providence girl these days. I like going out in Providence a lot more than going out in Boston. It's just easier and I like a lot of the restaurants out there, a lot of the vibes, so I never really crave going into boston anymore but when i saw that they were doing the snowport little market again i was like yeah i need to at least go in for that um there's also a couple restaurants that i really want to go to before christmas is over yeah, for the most part right now i really am in like kind of a grind mode <laughs> as cringy as that sounds i'm really trying to work on so many things i have like this upcoming week is pretty busy for me i have a lot of brand deals that i have to film in addition to Vlogmas, um, I got two of my first brand deals on TikTok, which I'm actually so excited about. Like I didn't even think I could get brand deals over there for a long time because I only have like 15,000 followers, but I got two and I'm so excited about it. So I'm a little nervous though, cause I don't really, like it's just, it feels very different. You know, I'm not really fully comfortable with TikTok content yet. So to have a brand deal be due over there, I really need to think about and research how I should go about filming these things. They were like, oh yeah, like you just have to do this and that and then post it here and sh show us there. And I'm like, what is going on? Like I'm just used to YouTube where you put up like an unlisted video. I know how to record the content. I know how to edit the content. So um, it's gonna be a learning curve doing TikTok ones now. If you've been watching my vlogmas, then you know that I washed my makeup brushes a few days ago. And I swear, sometimes when you wash your makeup brushes and they're super clean, your makeup just doesn't go on as good. Like I kind of miss my dirty little dingy old makeup brushes because they were they were laying the makeup on. There's like a whole bottle of foundation in my foundation brush that, you know, I really relied on. Now I don't have that anymore and I feel like I need more product. The body suit I have on is from Revolve and then I'll show you guys my outfit before I leave. I have on some black jeans, but it's actually gonna be like really hot out today. Well, not hot, like for the time of year, 
it's gonna be like 55 degrees so i'm gonna wear like a light coat obviously i feel like i need a coat i was like looking through my closet and i'm like what the heck am i gonna wear i'm not like prepared for 55 degree weather right now and i wanted to wear something cute so i settled on this bodysuit from revolve which i'll link down below i wore it in a gift guide video recently and that's about it so i'm excited to actually wear it out it's from lovers and friends and i think i own the same exact one in like a tan nudish color and i bought it like a few years ago so i feel like this is like a classic lovers and friends bodysuit all right i took a break i ghosted you guys for a second because i don't know why my makeup isn't going on the way i normally like it to and i don't know why also but lately every time i put on makeup my face gets so insanely itchy like next level itchy and it's really starting to bug me i think my mom said that she wants to go to this like seafood restaurant in Seaport that her and my sister really like. It's just like a classic place, but I guess it's decorated for Christmas. So we'll see where we end up eating. There's so many options to go to around there. And I kind of want to try something new. I mean, I've never been to that seafood place, so I'm down to try that, but I'm excited to just have a day outside of the house. I cleaned all day yesterday, so everything feels like perfectly pristine and I'm ready to leave and go enjoy my day and not have to think about coming home and doing any type of chores i'm gonna come home and build a lego set i'm gonna have like the perfect relaxing december sunday christmas activities lego set <laughs> maybe we'll make more hot chocolate when we get home but i'll probably have hot chocolate out today oh maybe even the spiked hot chocolate if they have that at the christmas market i feel like they do i'm trying to talk to you guys but sometimes it's hard to talk and get ready and do your makeup actually like decently i have a city girls song stuck in my head i'm not gonna sing it because i don't want to put anybody else through that not that i don't like their music but it's just like it's been stuck in my head like one line for i don't even know like a whole day now and i just can't i can't stop saying it in my head it's irrelevant to like anything that I'm thinking about, but every time after like I finish a thought, I'm like, mm -hmm, you know, and I, it's driving me crazy. Always something y'all, I just ran out of storage, but I'm back trying to find my blush. I'm actually running quite behind right now. I should be leaving in 10 and I still need to um, make my video ready to go live which it's already uploaded i'm sure at this point i've just been letting it upload on my computer while i start my day but i need to add all these other things to like the description box oh my god my nose is literally so itchy why i need to chill i need to calm down next is highlights i'm still like stuck in 2015 and i'm obsessed with the Becca champagne pop literally it's the only highlighter I use right now I don't even need much highlighter right now because I'm like sweating the way my face is so Insanely itchy is not okay. My eyebrows. I still need to figure out how I'm styling my hair Thank God I have my outfit at the very least I got a notification on my phone that I'm getting a package Delivered later on today. And I'm so excited for it I'll Definitely unbox it on the vlog today as long as it does get delivered. I forgot that like FedEx and UPS deliver on Sundays now because of like the holiday season and stuff so I guess it says that it's getting delivered today and I hate doing this but should I do my mascara in the, my mom's car when we're on the way I feel like no I feel like I should just get it done now I don't feel like carrying it down with me my face is so freaking itchy I feel like I need to pack a brush with me just to be able to like itch my face like holy crap i just want to like scratch it so bad if anybody knows why my makeup is making me this itchy let me know it's been happening for like the past like week and a half now just a quick swipe of mascara which i can never find my mascara here it is l'oreal voluminous applying mascara but whenever i apply mascara i kind of like raise my eyes a little bit and i see all of my forehead wrinkles and i'm like i haven't really felt the need to get botox in my forehead up until recently because the lines like they don't really go away i just want a little bit in my forehead i don't want to get too much because i think 
Botox and fillers and everything is one of those things where once you start like you can really get taken away and really do too much is what I'm trying to say and I don't want to do that. I had gotten my lips done what now like two years ago? Yeah, two years ago I got my lips done and and I feel like they still look like they got done like my filler didn't really dissolve much at all and it's not that I don't like the way they look I just wish that I hadn't gotten filler they look fine now but it was just like such a whole process and I feel like for like three to four months after I got them done my lips just looked insanely big and I hated that like I don't like the overly like overdone look I just want to look like my natural self but like slightly better so I'm nervous to consider getting something else injected. At least Botox isn't supposed to be like something that changes your face shape. I'm talking Botox too. I also want to get masseter Botox. I recently went to the dentist and he told me that my teeth grinding is like out of control. I think it's from stress. I don't really know, but apparently I grind my teeth now. I had no idea. I've heard that masseter Botox can help out with that. And a little bonus, it also slims out your jaw. So. I am highly considering that even more so than the forehead Botox. So early this morning, I was so productive and yet I'm still running insanely behind. That is the story of my life. This is my favorite lip gloss. It's Patrick Ta in Pouty and it's so good. Okay, I'm gonna quickly finish like getting dressed and doing some things and then I will touch base with you guys. Sorry, I'm like, always running late i literally can never be on time for anything i don't know why already i just made sure that my video was like all set to go live a little bit later today but we need to go through the advent calendar and figure out what perfume i'm gonna be wearing today so i don't even know what day we're on we're on day six out of 12. let's see what today brings us y'all Ooh, prada okay paradox from prada another perfume that i don't think i've ever smelled before let's see what this description is talking about this is what it looks like oh i've seen this bottle it'll focus i've seen this bottle before but i've never smelt it, it says the scent of an avant-garde grand classic coral freshness woody amber white musks okay let's give this a try Hopefully I like it because it's what I'm wearing today. I'm committing to it. It smells really good. This might be my number two. I need to go back and smell Saint Laurent's Libre, Libra or whatever real quick. Nah, this is still my number one. That one might be my number two though. I'm not gonna lie. But so far Saint Laurent is still winning my mom is literally gonna kill me because she texted me this morning and she was like we're still on for 9 30 right and i was like yeah that's the plan and it's now 9 23 so i'm gonna be like five or six minutes late i really thought that i had enough time today to do everything that i wanted to do but i'll finish the rest of the stuff that i have to do in the car i just hate my hair right now so i literally think i'm gonna wear these glasses they're like blue blue light glasses i think i'm gonna wear them out with my hair because I just need my hair out of my face. I need to get a haircut so bad and actually have someone style my hair because it's just kind of dead at the bottom, first of all, and it needs to be cut like layers and stuff like that because right now it just looks, it looks lame. But let me quickly show you guys my outfits and then head out the door. Here's the full fit. So I have on these jeans from Zara. I got them. A couple of months ago and they are like really rigid but they've been fitting me a little bit better recently so I threw these on and then I have the white bodysuit like I said from Revolve this jacket is really lightweight but it's like long and like at least if I do get cold I'll have this it's not super thick so it won't make me too hot this is from Nordstrom and then I have on my orange high dunks I don't know, I never wear these anymore, so I thought I would wear them today. And then my bag is my St. Laurent's sunset bag in like a cream color. So I went for like a cream white kind of look. And there's the full fit. I am headed out the door. Bye. 
So I didn't end up vlogging much of the Boston trip because I started to not feel that great on Sunday evening, but my mom and I did explore Seaport. This is one of my favorite parts over in like this shopping area. They had all these trees decorated to look like a blizzard and it was so cute. We went into one of our favorite bakeries or like coffee shops and I got a chocolate croissant and my mom got an egg sandwich and it was shaped like a heart and it was so cute. I also got a peppermint mocha coffee and then we went into Snowport. We didn't buy anything in Snowport surprisingly, but we did get hot chocolates. I got a cookie butter and my mom got a peanut butter one and they were so good. What's up? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. No. Yes. Vlogmas Day 12. Um, I still need to go home and edit Vlogmas Day 11, so I think that's why I'm a little bit like all over the place. But welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. Oh my goodness, we are getting closer to halfway. I think I'm going to upload 26 videos in a row, so that way I film on like Christmas Day and get some content there and upload it on the 26th. So we're getting close to halfway. Tomorrow will be the halfway point. I had a rough Monday, okay? I had a rough Monday morning. It's noon now, so the morning is over. Hopefully today will take a turn and become better i don't know why i was just like really sad this morning and just kind of like getting upset over things that i can't control i had to run some errands so i'm over in a different area of town and i stopped at a coffee shop that i really like it's called tasties they have like literally everything like they have every type of food you could ever imagine and they also have every type of coffee drink anything it used to be a long long time ago a soft serve ice cream place and then they transformed it into like not just having soft serve ice cream they have like literally everything under the sun so i wanted to try it out i feel like i've been trying a lot more like local coffee shops recently so I got the peppermint white mocha iced coffee with cream and I've been having this and it's so good literally so good I love when a coffee actually tastes the way I want it to in my head I'm also in the Target parking lot right now because I have to go in and get a couple things that I ran out of and then I just want to browse around a little bit I need to get some wrapping paper for like gifts for obviously for Christmas and stuff and then just a couple other things but I was kind of hungry and I decided that I would be kind of simple and try a bagel from them because I haven't had a bagel from them in a long time and last time I was there with my mom I got avocado toast and it wasn't really that good so I was like let me try something else and see how it is so I got a jalapeno cheddar bagel you can see jalapeno cheddar bagel and I got chive cream cheese I don't really know if that goes together but the chive cream cheese was just sounding really good to me these bagels they pride themselves on being new york bagels is what they say like all over the restaurant it says that they are new york bagels i don't know what the difference is between a regular bagel and a new york bagel do you see this actually really good oh i'm so happy i just got like a simple bagel it was so cheap too it was like a dollar fifty really have no idea why i randomly get sad about things that happened like so long ago or that are like so far off my mind for so long and so out of my control and then i randomly like just wake up in the morning and it's like the first thing on my mind and i'm like why did that happen like why is my mind making me think about it but now my mind is thinking about a bagel and i'm doing better <laughs> Guys, I just came to the outlet mall. I don't know why I was in Target and I had like some stuff in my cart and then I kept taking things out of my cart and putting them back because you know when you're in a shopping mood and you're like, oh, this is cute. Let me grab that. This is cute. This is cute. This is cute. This is cute. And then you look at your cart after you like compiled all this stuff and you're like, I don't even really want any of this. That was me. And then I was like, maybe instead of buying like random things at Target that I don't really need, I'll just get the things that I need. And then I was like, I'm going to treat myself to something that I do need, which is a new pair of house slippers. So I think I'm going to go get some, not somebody's car alarm going off. I think I'm going to go into UGG at the outlet and see if they have any slippers. Um, I don't really care about the color. You guys know I normally rock like my bright pink ones, but those have been through the ringer. I just kind of really need a new pair of slippers and I love wearing my UGG ones. So I wanted to see if the outlet has any first before... I go and buy like the full price ones because my friend was telling me that the outlet has like really good prices on a ton of different things so i want to go in and see what they have and hopefully they have something in like a not hideous color that i can wear around the house i don't need a neutral i just need something cute <laughs>
that was just another absolute fail everything in the ugg store was like either like they i tried on a pair of ultra mini gray uggs and those were cute but they were the same price that they are in like regular stores like nordstrom and stuff and i'm like i'm at the outlet like why don't you guys have like normally they'll have like the styles that are really popular just in like what some would consider like uglier colors like bright colors and like patterns and all that stuff like they'll normally have like some fun things and i'm just like not about to pay the same price as regular retail for a pair of neutral uggs like i thought i was gonna go in there and find like bright pink bright blue bright green like i thought i was gonna find all this fun stuff because i just want like a fun house slipper and i found none of the sorts they had just like neutral slippers the only color one that they had in a pair of slippers i don't even know if i filmed those ones were like a pale purple and i'm not really like a purple girl like that also the sun is like randomly coming out right now when i'm trying to film but i ended up going in gap because i remembered that my friend brianna was posting some stories and she had on this like red sweatsuit and i asked her where it was from and she said it was from gap and she probably got it at the regular gap because they didn't have the sweat set that she owns like i was looking for it but i couldn't find it but i did find this little brown full zip kind of like semi cropped hoodie i got it in a size small because it looked like it was pretty oversized it was originally 50 dollars and i paid 24.99 for it it's just a basic brown zip up but i thought it was a nice color and i feel like i need like new sweatpants and stuff like that so it's two o'clock right now. I'm kind of debating if I want to go to the mall and just get something for my sister that I've been meaning to get her. Or at least like see if they have anything in store because my sister wants for Christmas, she said she wants a brown leather crossbody bag that has no branding on it. Something like super simple. Me and her are just like complete opposites. She just wants something like super basic, she said, that's small and brown that she can take like on dates and stuff like that. So I might go look at Nordstrom and stuff right now and see if they have anything even though the mall is gonna be crazy and like I just left the house this morning to run a few errands I did not think I was gonna be going to the mall I feel like I'm a mess right now so far today has just been such a fail that I'm like maybe I should just go and see if I can find something for my sister at Nordstrom because I have not started on my Christmas shopping at all yet actually so bad so I don't know if I should go there and see if I can find anything for her in store, I might just go do that right now. You guys, today's already been kind of a wash, so we might as well just go to the mall and see what's going on there. I'm sure it's gonna be busy, even though, like, I'm just so shocked how busy it is because it's a Monday, and I'm just like, does nobody work? Like, obviously I, you know, have the privilege of being able to go out whenever I want to, but what about everybody else? Like, what are you guys all doing? from the mall. I was there a little bit longer than I expected to be and then I stopped at the grocery store on the way back and then just really quick I needed stuff for tonight's dinner and then I took a shower because I hate like being home after I've been out for majority of the day without taking a shower so I took a nice body shower. I feel nice and clean and I thought I could give you a haul behind me. Oh I need to go get my scissors too because I have some like PR and other things that were in my mail room that I picked up as well that we can go through. Very excited about everything that I got. I feel like I had a not so successful day in the beginning and then it actually turned around and it became successful like I got something for my sister that I'm really excited about okay first package is from beam this is a company that I'm potentially working with in 2024 I'm with 13 unique ingredients clinically studied to support glowing hydrated skin boosted collagen production skin complexion and texture skin elasticity and overall nourishment 
So I think that they're sending me like some collagen powder, I believe. Promotes skin nourishment, hydration, complexion, and the healthy growth of hair and nails. This is a 30 day supply, 60 capsules, take two capsules per day. So I knew that they were sending me something, but I didn't know exactly what. So yeah, I guess these are like uh, supplements that you're supposed to take every day to help with like skin, hair, nails, all that kind of stuff. So I'll have to look more into this afterwards, but thank you, Beam. You guys are seeing it at the same time as me. Ooh, bigger, better birthday, celebrating 15 years. Rhyme Cosmetics offered to send me some stuff and I was like, yes, absolutely, because I've been talking about them recently in some gift guides. So this is their, I think they sent over like a bunch of serums. It says that their lash enhancing serum is the beauty hit list awards from nylon of 2023 so it's supposed to be like a um, eyelash growth serum and i think this is the instructions for it it says clinically proven results backed by pros this is supposed to be like the it product to grow your eyelashes out long which i want to give a shot i really do sometimes miss eyelash extensions i think like when i got volume and very black they looked so crazy on my eyes but I miss like just, I wanna get like sometimes just like a classic set of lashes where they're super minimal, just kinda look like mascara is on your eyes all the time. I miss that. I'll have to see if these Grande Cosmetics serums work and then maybe I won't need to get eyelash extensions. These are big boxes, so let's see what they sent over. This is the Instant Plump, oh, the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip plumper i didn't know if they had other stuff besides just the um lash serum until now this is the grande brow so this is a brow enhancing serum i definitely need that i struggle i don't really have much eyebrow hair so i'm gonna put this to the test and see how it goes and then we have two more things they sent the lash enhancing serum so this is like the most popular products that they have and then this is a conditioning peptide mascara so I wonder if this is supposed to help with growth as well. A water resistant Italian made mascara that not only provides volume and length, but is infused with a blend of conditioning peptides to promote healthier looking lashes. Very interesting. Thank you so much, Grande Cosmetics. I know I do have a discount code. I'm gonna put it up on the screen for you guys as well. Ooh, they also sent a little bag. I ran out of storage, but they sent um, a little bag. So let's open this up. And see, I'm loving how companies are sending little accessories with their products. Okay, this is so cute. Okay, wait, this is so cute. I wonder if they actually sell this on the site or if they just sent it in the PR, but I love this. This is good for travel. Kind of uncomfortable to sit on my floors when I don't have a rug, but I need to start looking maybe tonight to potentially get a rug ordered because I really need one. So I'm working with Optimum Nutrition over on my TikTok and I'm really excited about that. So they sent over a protein powder. This is the gold standard 100% whey double rich chocolate protein. I'm confused because I thought that they said the campaign was for strawberry, but maybe it's for the chocolate. I don't know. Or maybe it doesn't matter the flavor, but the original brief that I was sent did say strawberry. So I'm going to have to email her and just double check that. It's okay that I got the double rich chocolate. I hope so. And we're gonna go through the stuff behind me. I have Gap, Target, Abercrombie, and Madewell. So starting off with Madewell, I'm not gonna take it out of the actual packaging. At least I don't think so. You guys can kind of see it. My sister, this tan crossbody, which I did already probably show clips in this vlog of me trying it on. I was debating between this one and another one, and I ended up, I was in Nordstrom trying all this stuff on, right? And I ended up, being like, oh, I'll just go to the actual Madewell store and see if they have anything different in there or any like darker leather, maybe something a little bit bigger. And they had so many more options and then Madewell was 30% off. So I'm so happy. This bag was originally, I think it was like 120. And at Madewell, I had like another discount on top of that. Like a rewards number there or whatever. I don't know, I was getting like all these discounts and the bag was only $82. So I'm so happy that I didn't pull the trigger at Nordstrom because they were selling it for full price. And then at Madewell, I got it for $82. So this is one of my sister's Christmas gifts. It's really hard for me sometimes to shop for her because we have such different tastes and we have, we're just so completely different in every type of way so sometimes i just don't get it i'm like no i want to get her like this cute little like trendy shoulder bag but she doesn't like stuff like that like she likes what she likes and she wanted her words exactly were a plain leather small crossbody bag which at first she told me an over the shoulder bag and then she started describing it she's like yeah i just want to like sling it over my shoulder i'm like you mean a crossbody 
like she was telling you the wrong description i almost bought her um a shoulder bag and i was so excited i'm like oh my god she likes shoulder bags now but she meant crossbody she just mixed the two up i guess but so yeah she wanted plain leather crossbody small no branding very minimal as minimal as can be soft leather that was what i was given as a description to go with and i think i did a pretty good job so shout out to madewell and then i got myself something in there too since they were having such crazy sales i couldn't resist these socks i got them for like five bucks they're like brown zebra i love them i feel like i need to start getting more fun little treats like this for myself once in a while but yeah just some brown zebra socks next up is abercrombie i wasn't gonna get anything in there but then i tried on this sweatshirt and i kind of liked it i had ten dollars off in rewards i thought this sweatshirt was on sale but it wasn't which was kind of disappointing but they were having some good sales on some other things like a lot of the pants and stuff i just wasn't really loving the way that most of the stuff that i tried on today was fitting me like i don't know why i normally love abercrombie but Nothing was really impressing me that much, but I did get this little hoodie, or what is this, like a quarter zip, um, little cropped quarter zip. This is in, believe it or not, I got it in a size extra small um, because their stuff sometimes runs so big on me. Like I'm always way smaller in Abercrombie pants, Abercrombie shirts. I always get like a small typically because their mediums are always super big on me so in this sweatshirt i got an extra small and i was like it's not gonna fit that well because it's an extra small and this is the only size that they had but it fits like really loose so if you want it to be kind of small on you like definitely size down even maybe two sizes because i'm not an extra small in literally anything else so keep that in mind but i loved the color i feel like i don't own anything in like this dusty blue color and i need more sweatshirts because it's like all i wear and i could just never have enough and then from gap you guys saw this kind of already but i looked back at that clip and that angle was like really bad to show it off but i got this little hoodie um cropped zip up hoodie that is in like a nice chocolate brown i got this in a size small i didn't try this on yet but i think it'll definitely fit very nicely and this was originally like i said 49.99 and i paid 24.99 so i feel like that's a good price and it's very soft and now let's finally go to target which started this whole shopping excursion to begin with i got my favorite cleaner it comes around only during christmas time the mrs myers snowdrop if you know you know this is the best scent ever i wish that they did this year round but obviously snowdrop doesn't really make sense other times of the year but honestly i need to go back to target and get more and just stock up on it because this is my favorite scent of all time it's my favorite for like their hand soap they make it in a dish soap and they make it in an all-purpose cleaner and it's the best it's so good i've been missing having my nespresso coffee i feel like i haven't bought pods in so long because i've been out for so long and i've just been having iced coffee so i need to order maybe um tonight some nespresso pods but until i order some i got the starbucks holiday blend Nespresso pods. They only sell Starbucks ones at Target um, in store. So I just got them for the meantime so that way I can have some Nespresso. Some hot coffee is really what I want because I've just been having a lot of iced coffee recently. And then I got a new body scrub. I should have used this stuff in the shower, but I forgot. I forgot that I even got this stuff. This is the Dr. Teal's body scrub, which I love this specific scrub. This one is the Relax and Relief. It has eucalyptus and spearmint. So it's a little minty. The last time I had the citrus one, so I thought I would switch it up. And then the very last thing in this haul, I ran out of my Tree Hut shave oil, so I finally got a new one. I finally got to get a new one because before this I was using the watermelon scent and I just don't really like it. It's too like artificial fruit for me. I don't really like the vibes of that. This one is the Moroccan Rose. This smells way more my vibe. This is just like a better scents in my opinion a more um a more upgraded sense i think the watermelon one is very youthful it reminds me of like what like a 12 year old girl would like you know and i'm 26. So yeah that is my haul that is everything that i got tonight for dinner i want to make a chicken sandwich with some jalapeno ranch and like lettuce tomato pickles i've never really tried to make a chicken sandwich at home before so we're gonna see how that goes i might try and fry the chicken 
it, that's up in the air at this point because I haven't decided if I want to go through that whole process, but I might try. It's going to be like really thin. I bought um, thin sliced chicken breast, so it wouldn't take that long to fry. I also need to order gift wrap because I was going to buy some in Target, but it all just wasn't speaking to me. And I take a lot of pride in how my wrapping looks every year. And I think I'm going to go for a monochromatic green look. I think that's going to be the theme of my presents this year. So I need to order stuff on Amazon for that. So that way it can look the way that I want it to. Sorry, the lighting isn't the best in my apartment at night because I prioritize mood lighting over like filming lighting but here is the gap sweatshirt on so this is a size small and i think it's pretty big but it's so cute and thin and i could definitely wear it unzipped as well it's not as cropped as i thought it was it's pretty much like full length on me or like i think it's a really good length like it's not super cropped i think this will be good for just everyday wear but also like for the gym and stuff i love how it has pockets i think i already film myself trying this on but here is the dusty blue little quarter zip this is so cute and just really comfortable so it does have like a waistband right here but i think if i were wearing it like with jeans or something like if i'm not wearing if i'm wearing it to try and like look cute i think i would tuck the little like waistband underneath and just make it like a nice perfectly cropped little quarter zip this is so cute i love the dusty blue color all right it's time to make dinner these are not included in the dinner that's just my espresso pods but i think i took out mostly everything else besides um like flour and stuff like that since i am gonna fry the chicken i'm just gonna do a shallow fry in this pan since it's gonna be a very thin slice of chicken it shouldn't take that long to fry up but here are most of the ingredients for the chicken sandwich so we have some pepper jack cheese this one's from target it's extra thin so i'm gonna make kind of like a spicy chicken sandwich i'm gonna use a ranch um seasoning mix you could do this with your own seasonings, but I went the lazy route and I just bought this little packet of seasoning. And I got the Nature's Organic one because it was way cheaper than the Hidden Valley Ranch one. So hopefully it tastes as good. It's my burger bun. I wanted one that looks perfect. So I picked one out from like the fresh bakery section. I'm going to mix the ranch with some light sour cream and probably some milk and get like a good consistency. I'm also going to dice up some jalapeno and add that to my food processor. We're going to add... The jalapeno, ranch seasoning, light sour cream, and milk all to the food processor and make a nice ranch, a nice jalapeno ranch. I think that's going to be really good. I got some new dill pickles, which I've already been snacking on because they're so good. I love a good dill pickle. Recently, I accidentally bought bread and butter pickles and I hated them so much. They were like weirdly sweet. I need like a tart dill pickle so that's what i'm using and then i was thinking i could put some of this on the burger buns as well this is a roasted garlic sauce from hellman's and it's so good i literally try and put it on everything i can because it's delicious some thin slices of tomato thin slices of red onion and some sweet baby butter leaf lettuce because this one looks like it was like the biggest leaves and then this is the chicken that i'm using thin sliced chicken breast just bought this so that should be good i'm probably gonna do like a flour based chicken fried chicken with so these are the french fries that i'm gonna use the alexia sweet potato seasoned fries so let's see preheat oven to 425 i would say probably about like 15 minutes because i like them extra crispy so let's get the oven preheated i'm glad i remembered that or else i would have had a sandwich and no fries to go with it what did they say 425 there we go I don't know why my food processor is like not it's not processing the way it normally does and it is so thin right now 
I fear that I added too much milk, but I really didn't even add much milk at all. But it's like water right now. So I guess I'm gonna add the rest of the sour cream. I only did half the container. Y'all, I might have to add in some Greek yogurt too because this thing is like water. I thought that the jalapeno was gonna make it way like thicker than it did. We're gonna add the whole packet in. It's gonna be extra seasoned. Okay, it's slightly thicker now. Did it blend that jalapeno or no? I don't know. Okay, yep, it is spilling out the sides, so that's where I call it quits. Pour what I can into this little ramekin. Try and use up as much of this as possible. Oh, okay. I think that that's pretty good. That's a good amount right there. Okay, I'm actually happy with this consistency, I think. Like, I think that that's fine. It is very spicy from that one jalapeno. I kept the seeds in, so if you don't want it to be as spicy, just ditch the jalapeno seeds, but the way it is, is pretty good. All right, I have a mixing bowl here, and in here, I'm gonna whisk together egg, milk, and hot sauce. I have fried chicken before, but I never normally do just like flour and stuff. I normally do panko breadcrumbs and all that, but I don't know why, I'm just craving like a traditional flour fried thin piece of chicken, like a chicken cutlet. I'm only gonna fry two pieces of chicken, so I don't know how much milk I'm supposed to do, but I'm definitely not gonna do like a ton since, like I said, I'm not doing like the full amount, so that should be good. And now if you like it spicy, just do a little bit of hot sauce. I'm doing this like, it's literally like a salsa technically, but it'll be fine. I don't have any regular hot sauce right now. Now I'm just gonna take a fork and whisk this together. I'm just gonna use like one of my plate bowls for the flour. I don't have that much flour left in this bag. I have a whole nother bag, but I really don't feel like opening that. So I'm just gonna use up what I have. And I hope that that's enough. That might actually not be. I'll add in a little bit more of this little mini bag that I have. I just really don't feel like opening up my whole other big bag of flour. That's definitely plenty. The I'm following uses Cajun seasoning and I actually think that that sounds really good. So I'll do a bunch of that. I'm actually saying that I should heat up some oil right now. So I'm just gonna use some vegetable oil in, I'm gonna do it in this pan right here. And then like I said, I'm gonna do vegetable oil for my oil of choice. Found my little thermometer that tells me how hot the oil is. So I've been testing it over here to make sure that it's not getting too hot. These little chicken breasts are so thin, I might actually double two up on a sandwich. I don't know, they're like paper thin. They're gonna be like the nicest chicken cutlets ever, but I'm only doing two, so I'm gonna do a double coat. I just put it in the egg wash, and now I'm putting it in the flour, making sure to just like pat it all on. This is my least favorite part of cooking chicken is doing this whole process because your hands get so gross, which is why I'm only gonna do two patties. Okay, now we did the flour. Now it's going back in this egg milk mixture again, and then back into the flour one more time. The oil is definitely super hot. I'm just gonna put my thermometer in there and check and see because I don't want it to be too hot. I added in a tester little piece and it seems to be doing okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the chicken in now. <laughs> Get my tongs out, make sure you're nice and safe if you do this at home. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna do them separately just that way I don't get just too distracted and mess them up. Give it a good flip right away so that way it doesn't burn. Okay, this piece of chicken, I just wanna keep it in there for a couple more minutes to get it extra crispy, but it's gonna come out in a second and then we can do the second one. And then I'm just gonna put them on another clean cutting board to cool off for a second. They're pretty good. 
I think after they come out, I'm just gonna salt them really quick with some fresh sea salt and that should be just about perfect. All right, it's time to assemble everything. I changed because I got flour all over my last sweater, but I have the toasted bun right here. I just put it to broil in the oven for a few minutes, more like a minute and a half. And now I'm taking some of this garlic sauce and I'm gonna spread this on the buns first and spread that on. The chicken looks perfect. It's actually crazy. Now I like a lot of ranch, so I'm gonna do a little scoop on the bottom first. Oh, I forgot that I have to do, um, hmm. <laughs> I want the cheese to be melted slightly on the chicken, I think. Well, I was getting this cheese out of the package, just the most difficult thing I've ever done. So I cut the chicken cutlet a little bit to fit on the, patty this is the bottom so i'm gonna put the chicken on first and then i'm gonna top it off with the other piece of chicken i just didn't want it to be overhanging too much and now i'm gonna take a slice of pepper jack cheese that is broken a little bit and i'm gonna pop this back in the broiler literally for just like 30 seconds because the cheese is so thin it'll melt really quickly in the meantime i'm snacking on more of the fried chicken okay it literally was in there for like less than 20 seconds and it's done and okay, now we're gonna do some big pieces of crispy lettuce i don't like too much lettuce on my chicken sandwiches but like just enough like look at how good it looks already now i'm gonna do a little bit of red onion with the tomato i took the insides out of the tomato like the little seeds and stuff because that's what tends to make a sandwich a little soggy besides the sauce obviously like sauce can make it soggy but this um tomato if it sits for too long can really ruin the vibe of a sandwich so i took those out even though i like that part of the tomato i just don't like it in burgers and sandwiches like that but now i added more jalapeno ranch on this side bun on it looks stunning. I've literally been snacking on these pickles the whole time I've been cooking. So if I forgot to put them on, that would have been such a crime. I feel like you need a good pickle on a chicken sandwich. All right, we're going to cut into the sandwich. I just took some photos beforehand just in case this goes wrong. I feel like when you cut stuff like this, you just need to go for it and not like stutter with your knife cut. And that's where I feel like you can go wrong. So I'm just going to go quickly. You have to not think about it. I guess that went as good as it could have gone. Okay, let's see guys. Here is, the, oh my God, that looks so good. Now I'm just gonna gather up a bunch of these waffle fries. All right guys, and here we have it, the fried chicken sandwich with tomatoes, red onion, jalapeno ranch, homemade jalapeno ranch, and what else is on there? Lettuce. <laughs> I feel like bacon would have been really good on this as well, but that's just too complicated. I can't have to deal with another element. This was enough as is. I totally forgot to mention at the grocery store, I got some new kombucha, the mango lemonade one. It is so good. I think it might be my new favorite flavor. The passion fruit is like my all time favorite, but the mango lemonade is catching up there. It's really good. And I don't really like kombucha, you guys, unless it's the health aid brands. That's the only brands that I can drink and actually like truly enjoy it. One last look at my meal. I guess we'll try a bite of the, oh, the top just came off, of this chicken sandwich. One last little view. Sorry, it's like so oversaturated, the lighting right now, but let's get a good bite or at least try to. I think I mostly just got all the toppings, but everything is so good. That jalapeno ranch is amazing. I really like a simple flour fry way more than a panko one. I'm trying a french fry now with the jalapeno ranch. Now McDonald's or Wendy's or any of those fast food places, their fried chicken sandwiches just aren't gonna hit the same because this is a million trillion times better. I'm gonna go watch some TV and enjoy my chicken sandwich. <laughs>